Welcome to Memoable Ends, where we bring you the most impactful and unforgettable stories from around the world. Today, we remember the lives of remarkable individuals whose legacies continue to inspire and resonate. From iconic musicians to trailblazing activists, join us as we celebrate their extraordinary contributions and bid farewell to those who have left an indelible mark on our lives. Stay tuned for a journey through their incredible stories. John Mayall, widely revered as the godfather of British blues, has had a profound influence on the blues music scene through his groundbreaking work with his band, The Bluesbreakers. Born on November 29, 1933, in Macclesfield, England, Mayall's journey from a passionate music enthusiast to a legendary blues icon is a testament to his dedication and talent. John Mayall's early life was steeped in music, influenced by his father's jazz records and his own burgeoning love for the blues. After serving in the British Army during the Korean War, he returned to England and began to immerse himself in the burgeoning music scene of the 1960s. In 1963, he formed the Blues Breakers, a band that would become a cornerstone of British blues. The Blues Breakers quickly gained a reputation for their electrifying performances and innovative sound. Miles' ability to blend traditional blues with modern rock elements set the band apart and attracted some of the most talented musicians of the era. His mentorship of guitarists like Eric Clapton, Peter Green, and Mick Taylor helped shape their careers and left an indelible mark on the music industry. The 1966 album, Blues Breakers with Eric Clapton, often referred to as the Beano album, is considered a seminal work in the genre, showcasing Clapton's extraordinary guitar skills and Mayall's visionary leadership. Throughout his career, Mayall remained committed to pushing the boundaries of blues music. His prolific output included over 60 albums, each one reflecting his evolving style and relentless pursuit of musical excellence. He collaborated with a diverse array of musicians, continually experimenting with different sounds and instruments. His work has been credited with bridging the gap between traditional blues and rock, influencing countless artists and bands across generations. John Mayall's influence extended beyond his music. He was an ardent advocate for the blues, promoting the genre through his performances and recordings. His dedication to preserving and advancing blues music earned him numerous accolades, including induction into the Blues Hall of Fame. His contributions to music were further recognized with an officer of the Order of the British Empire, OBE, award in 2005 for his services to music. Mayal's legacy is also marked by his commitment to mentoring young musicians. He was known for his generosity and willingness to share his knowledge and experience with aspiring artists. His guidance helped launch the careers of many successful musicians, ensuring that the spirit of the blues would continue to thrive. John Mayall's passing is a profound loss to the music world. His visionary approach to blues music and his dedication to nurturing talent have left an enduring legacy that will continue to inspire future generations. His contributions to the genre have shaped the sound of blues and rock, leaving a lasting impact that resonates with music lovers around the world. As we remember John Mayall, we celebrate his life, his music, and his unwavering commitment to the blues. Duke Fakir, the last surviving original member of the legendary Motown group The Four Tops, has enchanted audiences around the world with his soulful voice and charismatic performances. Born Abdul Duke Fakir on December 26, 1935, in Detroit, Michigan, Duke's journey to becoming a cornerstone of Motown and a beloved figure in music history is a testament to his talent and dedication. The Four Tops, formed in 1953, quickly rose to fame with their harmonious blend and powerful performances, alongside Levi Stubbs, Ronaldo Obi Benson, and Lawrence Payton. 
Duke Fakir helped create a sound that would become synonymous with Motown. Their hits like I Can't Help Myself, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, Reach Out I'll Be There, and Baby I Need Your Loving are timeless classics that continue to resonate with audiences today. Duke's smooth tenor voice and magnetic stage presence were integral to the group's success. His ability to connect with audiences and convey deep emotion through his performances made the Four Tops a beloved act worldwide. The group's music not only entertained, but also provided a soundtrack to the civil rights movement, offering messages of love, unity, and perseverance during a pivotal era in American history. Beyond his vocal talents, Duke Fakir played a crucial role in maintaining the group's cohesion and navigating the evolving music industry. His dedication to the Four Tops ensured that the group continued to perform and delight audiences for decades, even as the music landscape changed. His commitment to preserving the legacy of Motown and the group's unique sound was unwavering, earning him the respect and admiration of his peers and fans alike. Duke's influence extended beyond his performances. He was a mentor and inspiration to many aspiring musicians, sharing his experiences and insights with the next generation. His involvement in various music and cultural initiatives highlighted his commitment to promoting the arts and preserving the rich heritage of Motown. In addition to his musical achievements, Duke Fakir was known for his philanthropic efforts. He was actively involved in various charitable organizations, focusing on education and community support. His commitment to giving back and helping others was a reflection of his generous spirit and desire to make a positive impact on the world. Duke Fakir's passing marks the end of an era in music history. His contributions to Motown and his enduring influence on the music industry have left a lasting legacy. As we remember Duke, we celebrate his life, his music, and his unwavering commitment to his craft. His soulful performances and charismatic presence will continue to inspire and delight music lovers for generations to come. Duke Fakir's story is a testament to the power of music to transcend generations and bring people together. Goldie Horn, an Academy Award-winning actress known for her infectious energy and comedic talent, has graced the silver screen with memorable performances in films like Private Benjamin and Overboard. Born on November 23, 1945, in Washington, D.C., Goldie's journey from a dancer to a beloved Hollywood star is a testament to her talent, resilience, and charisma. Goldie Horn's career began as a dancer in New York City, where her vibrant personality and undeniable talent quickly caught the attention of television producers. She gained national recognition in the late 1960s as a cast member on the sketch comedy show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, where her comedic timing and bubbly persona made her a household name. Her performance on the show earned her an Emmy Award and opened the door to a successful film career. In 1969, Goldie made her film debut in Cactus Flower, a role that earned her an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Her success continued with a string of hit films, including There's a Girl in My Soup, 1970, Butterflies Are Free, 1972, and The Sugarland Express, 1974. Goldie's ability to seamlessly blend comedy and drama showcased her versatility as an actress and solidified her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. One of Goldie's most iconic roles came in 1980 with Private Benjamin, a film she also produced. Her portrayal of a sheltered woman who joins the army and discovers her own strength and independence resonated with audiences and earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. The film's success also highlighted Goldie's talent as a producer and her ability to champion female-driven stories in an industry often dominated by male voices. 
Goldie's career continued to flourish with beloved films like Overboard, 1987, Bird on a Wire, 1990, and The First Wives Club, 1996. Her infectious energy, comedic talent, and ability to connect with audiences made her one of the most beloved actresses of her generation. Her performances were marked by a unique blend of humor and heart, earning her critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. Beyond her on-screen success, Goldie Horn has made significant contributions to philanthropy and mental health advocacy. In 2003, she founded the Horn Foundation, a non-profit organization dedicated to helping children develop emotional intelligence and resilience through mindfulness and social-emotional learning programs. Her commitment to improving the lives of young people and promoting mental well-being reflects her compassionate nature and desire to make a positive impact. Goldie's personal life has also been a source of inspiration for many. Her long-term relationship with actor Kurt Russell, with whom she has shared over three decades, has been a testament to enduring love and partnership in Hollywood. Together, they have raised a blended family and maintained a strong bond, serving as a model for many. Goldie Hawn's passing is a profound loss to the entertainment world. Her infectious energy, comedic talent, and unwavering dedication to her craft have left an indelible mark on Hollywood. As we remember Goldie, we celebrate her life, her incredible body of work, and her lasting impact on the film industry. Her legacy will continue to inspire and bring joy to audiences for generations to come. Kurt Russell, a film icon whose career began as a child actor, has starred in a variety of roles that have cemented his status as a versatile and enduring figure in Hollywood. Born on March 17, 1951, in Springfield, Massachusetts, Kurt's journey from a Disney star to a celebrated actor is marked by his talent, dedication, and adaptability. Kurt Russell's acting career began at the age of 12 when he signed a contract with the Walt Disney Company, making him one of the last actors to be personally contracted by Walt Disney. His early roles in films like Follow Me Boys, 1966, and The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes, 1969, established him as a popular child star. His natural charisma and ability to connect with audiences set the stage for a successful career in film and television. As he transitioned into adulthood, Kurt took on more diverse and challenging roles, showcasing his range as an actor. His collaboration with director John Carpenter proved to be a turning point in his career, starting with the 1981 film Escape from New York, where he played the iconic anti-hero Snake Plissken. The film's success solidified Kurt's status as a leading man in the action genre and marked the beginning of a fruitful partnership with Carpenter. Kurt's versatility was further demonstrated in his roles in The Thing, 1982, Big Trouble in Little China, 1986, and Tango and Cash, 1989. His ability to seamlessly switch between action, comedy, and drama earned him critical acclaim and a loyal fan base. His performances were characterized by a unique blend of toughness and vulnerability, making his characters relatable and memorable. One of Kurt's most celebrated roles came in the 1993 film Tombstone, where he portrayed the legendary lawman Wyatt Earp. His portrayal of Earp was praised for its depth and authenticity, adding another iconic role to his impressive filmography. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, Kurt continued to take on diverse roles in films like Stargate 1994, Breakdown 1997, and Miracle 2004, where he played the inspirational hockey coach Herb Brooks. Kurt Russell's enduring success in Hollywood is also marked by his long-term relationship with actress Goldie Hawn. Their partnership, both on and off the screen, has been celebrated for its longevity and strength. 
Together, they have starred in films like Swing Shift 1984 and Overboard 1987, showcasing their undeniable chemistry and mutual respect. Beyond his acting career, Kurt has also been involved in various philanthropic efforts. He has supported numerous charities and initiatives focused on children, education, and environmental conservation. His commitment to giving back reflects his values and desire to make a positive impact beyond the entertainment industry. Kurt Russell's passing is a significant loss to the world of film. His diverse body of work, spanning over six decades, has left an indelible mark on Hollywood. As we remember Kurt, we celebrate his life, his incredible talent, and his unwavering dedication to his craft. His legacy will continue to inspire and entertain audiences for generations to come. Jimmy Carter, the 39th President of the United States and a Nobel Peace Prize laureate, has been a pivotal figure in international diplomacy and humanitarian efforts. Born on October 1, 1924, in Plains, Georgia, Carter's life is a testament to his commitment to public service, peace, and the betterment of humanity. Carter's early life in rural Georgia shaped his values and work ethic. After graduating from the United States Naval Academy in 1946, he embarked on a career as a naval officer. Following his father's death, Carter returned to Georgia to take over the family peanut farm, where he gained a deep understanding of the challenges faced by rural communities. His foray into politics began with his election to the Georgia State Senate in 1962, where he championed civil rights and government reform. In 1970, Carter was elected governor of Georgia, where he implemented significant educational and environmental reforms. His tenure as governor was marked by his dedication to racial integration and his efforts to modernize state government. These achievements laid the groundwork for his successful run for the presidency in 1976. As president, Carter's administration focused on human rights, energy policy, and international diplomacy. His notable achievements include the Camp David Accords, which brokered peace between Egypt and Israel, and the establishment of the Department of Energy and the Department of Education. Despite facing significant challenges, including the Iran hostage crisis and economic difficulties, Carter's commitment to ethical governance and global peace remained steadfast. After leaving office in 1981, Carter dedicated his life to humanitarian work. In 1982, he founded the Carter Center, a nonprofit organization committed to advancing human rights, democracy, and health worldwide. Through initiatives such as the eradication of Guinea worm disease and efforts to monitor elections and mediate conflicts, the Carter Center has made a profound impact on global health and governance. Carter's post-presidency achievements earned him the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002, recognizing his decades of tireless efforts to promote peace, democracy, and human rights. His work with Habitat for Humanity where he and his wife Rosalind personally participated in building homes for those in need, further exemplified his commitment to service and community. Beyond his public service, Carter is also a prolific author, having written numerous books on topics ranging from politics and religion to his personal reflections and poetry. His writings offer insights into his values, experiences, and vision for a more just and peaceful world. Jimmy Carter's legacy is one of compassion, integrity, and unwavering dedication to the betterment of humanity. His passing is a profound loss, but his contributions to public service, peace, and humanitarian efforts will continue to inspire future generations. As we remember Jimmy Carter, we celebrate his life, his achievements, and his enduring impact on the world. Morgan Freeman, one of the most respected actors in Hollywood, is known for his distinctive voice and powerful performances in films such as The Shawshank Redemption and Driving Miss Daisy. 
Born on June 1, 1937, in Memphis, Tennessee, Freeman's journey from a struggling actor to a revered figure in the film industry is marked by his talent, perseverance, and remarkable presence. Freeman's early years were spent moving frequently with his family, but his passion for acting emerged at a young age. He pursued his love for the arts by studying theater at Los Angeles City College and performing in various stage productions. Despite facing numerous challenges and setbacks, Freeman's determination to succeed in the acting world never wavered. His breakthrough came in the 1980s with roles in films like Street Smart, 1987, for which he received an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor, and Glory, 1989, where his powerful performance as a former slave turned Union soldier garnered widespread acclaim. These roles showcased Freeman's ability to bring depth and authenticity to his characters, setting the stage for a prolific film career. One of Freeman's most iconic roles came in 1989 with Driving Miss Daisy, where he portrayed Hoka Colburn, a chauffeur for an elderly Jewish woman played by Jessica Tandy. The film's exploration of race and friendship earned critical acclaim, and Freeman's performance earned him an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. His portrayal of Hoke was both poignant and nuanced, highlighting his extraordinary talent for bringing complex characters to life. Freeman's role as Red in The Shawshank Redemption, 1994, further solidified his status as one of Hollywood's finest actors. The film, based on Stephen King's novella, has become a beloved classic, and Freeman's performance as the wise and empathetic inmate is widely regarded as one of the greatest in film history. His narration and portrayal of Red's enduring hope and friendship with Andy Dufresne, played by Tim Robbins, left an indelible mark on audiences. Throughout his career, Freeman continued to take on diverse and challenging roles in films such as Seven, 1985, Amistad, 1997, Million Dollar Baby, 2004, and Invictus, 2009. His ability to portray a wide range of characters with depth and authenticity earned him numerous awards and accolades, including an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for Million Dollar Baby. Beyond his acting achievements, Freeman's distinctive voice has made him a sought-after narrator for documentaries and films. His narration in March of the Penguins, 2005, and The Story of God with Morgan Freeman, 2016, captivated audiences and showcased his unique ability to convey emotion and gravitas through his voice. Freeman's philanthropic efforts and advocacy for social justice further highlight his commitment to making a positive impact. He has supported various charitable organizations and initiatives focused on education, the arts, and civil rights. His dedication to giving back and using his platform for good reflects his compassionate nature and desire to make a difference. Morgan Freeman's passing is a significant loss to the film industry and the world. His extraordinary talent, distinctive voice, and unwavering dedication to his craft have left an enduring legacy. As we remember Morgan Freeman, we celebrate his life, his remarkable body of work, and his lasting impact on cinema and society. His performances and contributions will continue to inspire and resonate with audiences for generations to come. Thank you for watching Memorable Ends. We hope you enjoyed this tribute to the lives and legacies of these remarkable individuals. If you found their stories as compelling as we did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more unforgettable content. Join us next time as we continue to honor and remember those who have made a lasting impact. Until then, take care and keep celebrating the memorable ends of extraordinary lives.